Hey there, this is Dutch, and as you can see, I'm in an enchanting room, but it's not just any enchanting room, because I have four levers here, each one of them labeled with a number. Now, you may be wondering, what do these numbers mean? Well, I will show you. If I pull the lever that is labeled 1, you can see one uh, bookcase will retract, and it will also come back up again if I pull it again. If I pull the one labeled 2, two bookcases will be controlled. This one controls four bookcases and this one controls the remaining eight. Now you may be wondering why I would do this. Well, in fact, this allows you to get every possible enchantment level. So every uh, from one to fifteen bookcases is possible with only these four levers. Now if you don't believe it, then I will show you, but not right now. I will show you at the end of the video. There's probably going to be a uh, annotation that will take you there. Um, and I'm going to go straight on to the tutorial on this one. Um, before I do that though, I want to say this idea is not originally my own. I got the idea from a Redditor named Koipen and there will be a uh, link in the description to his original post and that's where I got the idea from. But as you can see here, I have the basic setup with an enchantment table and I've left these spaces open because that's where the uh, bookcases are going to go. So we're going to start off here. Um, you want to put the pistons in two blocks below the uh, below the bookcases like this so just put them all in you're gonna need 15 sticky pistons in total and that's basically the most uh, resource intensive thing on this build because it's very resource friendly you're only gonna need a couple of repeaters and uh, and redstone uh, so that's uh, all pretty good just put the bookcases in like this and then you're gonna have to place any kind of block. You can remove this one. Uh, you can just go around and place any kind of block all the way around here um, until this one. You can skip this. Then you put a bunch more here. And again, you can skip these spots and the last one will go here. And, um, oh, <laughs> forgot to remove this one. As you can see, we're gonna need some blocks here on these spots with redstone on top of them and that is where our levers are so if you can and we can also gonna place the levers which are gonna go over here inside the room there so if I now pull this lever that will power that redstone and now let's get to the uh, controlling the pistons basically we're gonna go uh, basically from 1 to 8 so this is going to be the lever that will control one piston and it's going to go like this now depending on if you want to have this wall going out here you can you can do two different things because as you can see over here I had a uh, hallway going so you have to go around here basically so that's what I had so then you need to go like this and then um, I might know I'm doing this wrong to go like this and then you go down for two blocks here and this will work uh, and then the wall would be over here so as you can see now when we pull this lever controls one piston if you're not planning on having any kind of wall over here you can simply leave these two blocks out and it will also work as you can see so that's kind of something that you have to consider um, but I would just keep it like this because I'm pretty sure most of you are going to want to have walls in your base where you're building this. So uh, Next is the uh, two piston one. Now, first of all, you're going to have to put two blocks here with repeaters. They can both stay on one delay. They're just to make sure the uh, redstone doesn't get mixed up. And then three blocks here with redstone on them. And then you go like this. And another one down and then over here and then put redstone here and you're gonna need a block on top of this bit of redstone um, you'll see why later so now the second lever works now for the third one we're just gonna run this all the way over here and then over here put a block go one up and just run redstone all the way along this as you can see it's very easy and this is why we needed that block so these two don't get mixed up so now the third lever works controls these four and lastly 
we're simply gonna uh, put redstone all the way along here and then at the back we're gonna have to go down um, put these three blocks then a repeater here and two more bits of redstone and then you can just make this lever connect with it and now our fourth lever also works and the room is fully functional as you can see now that's basically all there is to it to building this and uh, at the beginning of the video I promised to show you that you could get every possible uh, bookcase configuration with this so I'm going to show you just that um, keeping in mind that this one controls one bookcase this one two this one controls four and this one controls eight now if we want one bookcase we simply pull this lever if we want two we simply only pull the second one if we want three we can do the first two if we want four we can pull the third lever so we have four now for five we simply add the first one so that adds up to, adds up to five for six we remove the first one again and pull the second one so that is now six bookcases for seven simply add one again uh, for 8, we know we have a lever for that, so simply only pull that one. For 9, you add one again. For 10, you remove one, add two. For 11, you add one again. And for 12, you add 4 and 8, like this. Then for 13, you can, uh, yet again, simply add one. And this is 14. And finally, 15, which will give us level 30 enchantments. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I, uh, I'd like to once again say that this, is, this was not originally my idea. Uh, link will be in the description to the original post on Reddit, which inspired this video. And if you like my content, then do please check out my channel, because I have a bunch of other Redstone videos, as well as a uh, really active Minecraft Let's Play, which I'm currently updating daily. So do please check that out, and I will see you guys next time.